go on a break. Let's have a look at um, the, the, the war, quote unquote, between um, Ossim and, and Evidence Makopa. Now, these two players will lead the line, and that's uh, what you have. Both men have scored one goal each, they have one assist each. Uh, in terms of uh, the non penalty XG, I think Victor Ossiman is about 3.09, and Evidence Makopa is about one. You know, about one one point zero nine and all of that. Um, yeah, Papa, who's who's coming out tops on this? The the battle of the strikers, Victor Osimhen and and Evidence Makopa. I I don't think it's, it will be down to goals. You know, it will be down to who is winning the duels for the national team. And if South Africa are going to go long, they will depend on Evidence to do it. But most dominantly, the person winning the duels um, as a striker in the African Cup of Nations, Victor Osimhen. And Nigeria will depend on him, especially within the areas. And if they want to go long, sometimes you clear the ball. And within the South African center, one key thing is some of their defenders are prone to mistakes. And it's something they can really exploit. Soon. So when you love the ball and you have Victor Shimon chase you after the, the players, force them to go long or force them to just clear the ball, they are unsettled. Then the ball comes to Nigeria, they can reshuffle the ball, and then they can get back get back running, and it will be there some of the key things. Beyond that, I think the goalkeepers make the difference. I see. So, um, Ronwen Williams and then in Wabili yeah, of, so. of, of, of Nigeria. Um, yeah, but finally, before the break, yeah, I was talking about Aussie men and the physicality. Um, that, that would be a headache for South Africa. They need to figure out how to keep him quiet because from that Cameroon game, if you dolly on that ball, he's coming for it. Yeah, the, he's one of those players that will press you to death. He's got the legs to do it. So once the ball's coming, don't allow it to bounce. Because we saw against Cameroon and even Angola, when there's a bounce, it, it means you've given him a chance to chase the ball. And he'll try and get a, a head on it or a touch on it, just so he can also uh, further run you down. So it's important for, for South Africa to ensure they deal with the first ball over the top. Wherever it, it, may, it may be, through the channels, there's always someone following the runner, which is Osimhen. And if they can do that well, as much as it might be an inconvenience to your defensive setup, <laughs> it might help you to just cut the supply to him. If you know it's Iwobi that's going to be spreading the passes to him, don't allow him the time on the ball. If you can prevent that, then you, you, you'll be fine um, in the fixture. All right, we'll see how it plays out Nigeria versus South Africa. And what some have dubbed the Amapiano, Amapiano versus Afro Beats derby that will be played later today in the first semi final of the AFCON. So, like we've established, Victor Simon will be um, very important. The South Africans need to be on the lookout. Like we said, if you daily dally on the ball, he is going to come for it. We'll see how it plays out. It should be fun, it should be great. Um, predictions, okay, you know, let's keep the predictions until later.